Hi, my name is Sydney Cooper, and this is my paper boa. That it's like a spring paper boa. For those of you who hadn't know how to make springs, you can do this snake project. It's a cone, but see, it's a boa. Head. And it's really easy to make. Um, I'll bring you to my table, which has all my stuff. I still need to make six or seven more. And you can just tuck it in the head. See, it's easy. Come on. You can draw eyes on the little cone. And this is my George. Say hi, Georgie. Sniff the paper. No, quit. Good. Georgie, say hi. Say hi, Georgie. Hmm, okay. You like me. Get off. No, get off. Okay, anyway. Now I'm going to turn up this light. It's going to get dark for a second. I'm going to go over the table. You can kind of see me. You can't. I'm sorry. But now you can. And I'm going to show you how to make this. If I could turn it into maybe backwards or something. I could, but I don't have the back cam. Okay. So you need glue. Mine's already open. And of course, I just like recently made it. <sighs> My camera is... The sound's fast, but... The you know, so okay. Take a drink. <laughs> this is hot. <laughs> if you really don't know how to make it, now you take a piece of paper. Mine's yellow. You can have yours any color. Scissors. Mine's pink. And my sister's. And you can to make a big. You can. Well, just cut it into strips. So, I'm going to do this as fast as I can. If my voice is so compared to my movements, it's okay. And this number on my hand is upside down. And I, it's my lunch number. Don't study it. Trust me. But, it's, so, if you're having any questions, Anyway, this is how you make it. You just cut strips into a paper. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. Okay, so all you need is two to make one little fold. So, here's my two strips so far. I got the other half right there. You take glue. Make it into a... You glue them together into the shape of a V or an L. Preferably an L and if you see an L kind of shape. Yep. See it's an L V L V. But they have to be lined up. The corners have to be lined up. So like that, up there, yeah. They're like that. Anyway. And there we go. It's a square. And the other piece has to be lined up with it. So, as you can see, see it's lined up. You see the square it's lined up in. And, and I will fold it like so. See how I'm doing it. If you mess up, you're probably doing something wrong. I'm very um, artistic, you know, so that's why I'm doing this. Glue it when you're done. When you're finished, if there's like a, if there's like a piece hanging off like this. Cut off the edge, and I'm 
sorry if my mom's like whatever. Anyway, don't mind. But see how I did this? See? And you can just do it on and on. You will get faster and faster at it, trust me. I did this in less than about 20, 30 minutes or so. And like I said, just to keep it in there, just tuck it in. See? It's my boa that I made that I showed you. And so, see, you can just It'll keep going. Now, you can make it, you, here. You can make it longer. I'm sorry if you really can't hear me. I'll probably make another video after this if this didn't work. But that's how you make it. I'll try and cut this in right here. You can do several stuff with this. You can actually make an elephant nose out of this. With see, you can like make the body. But if you're wondering about the nose, my trick. Use a spring. And you probably use like this and so on. See, this is what I did for the head. I took this and put it like that. And took a pink piece um, and just cut it into a V and glue it in here. And I took that, this, this spring, and I glued it in there. And so, turned it into a snake. And then you can just draw the eyes on there, like I did. If you couldn't see, um, they have like little lines in their eyes. I looked up how what a bow looks like. There really wasn't any that looked green and yellow, but I decided to because when I think of boas, I think of long, big, green, and yellow boas. You know, I have to hold this because I'm thirsty. And you. I only have an inner cam, so so um, I have, it has to be held up or something to have it. I don't know where the mic is. I'm pretty sure it's like really late. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's on the table. Uh, and it's you know you can do it out of any kind of paper at all. or more sheets of paper. I'm looking for about four or five pieces of paper for the boa. And this half was not for the head. Um, I made it from the yellow that I used. It's like half. But this, this is half of it. And you will not believe. They are so small. That's why I use I got all my construction here. Construction paper. This is um, a list of kids in my class that want things, that want um, these things. Like, because they did it on my project, and I was wondering if anybody liked them to have one. And like, that's itch. It's itchy. Okay. Yeah. And I have about eight pieces. about seven people and maybe I make one for my teacher. But this is just, you know, how you can make one. You know, you, you like I said, you can use any kind of paper. Wow. I'm not that long. Or more. And that is how you make a paper boa. You know, I showed you. Bye. I might um, make some more things them to you. I know how to do the vinegar and spray, you know, the, vi the vinegar and the balloon thing. You take a balloon in a bottle of vinegar, put the baking soda in the balloon, put it on the bottle, and you know, dump it in there, dump the baking soda in there with the balloon, in the, that's in the balloon, and you know, it'll blow the balloon, you know. Anyway, I hope you know. And
these are just like some fun projects that you can do at home. They're not dangerous. is my art lesson for today. Bye. See you next time. I haven't really made up a name. I just mean like made it, make it science mania or something. Or arts and crafts. Your, the art show or something. I don't know. Some of them may be upside down. I might. You know what, never mind. Anyway. Uh, um, you can, okay, anyway, you can make it at home, you can do tons of projects, so join me on my next project that I will, that I'll make. Bye.